Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another Journal Hospital Review. This week I'll be discussing the reveal that um, Sasha is not Nina's daughter. The truth has finally come out thanks to Lulu Falconeri. Lulu Spencer Falconeri. Last week she overheard <clears throat> Liesl and Sasha talking about it in the bathroom, I believe, of the floating rib. They were discussing it, and Lulu was in the stall, and she overheard it all, and she decided to interrupt the wedding and tell all. So, she tried to tell Nina that Sasha's not her daughter, and then Nina went off on Sasha. First, Nina didn't believe it all. You know, it's like, you're just doing this because you can't be happy if Dante divorced you, and so you can't be happy, so I can't be happy, and Valentin was jumping in, saying the same thing, whatever. But then Sasha confessed. And, you know, got all mad at her and went off on her and slapped her. <laughs> and she went off on Valentine a little bit. And then left. And ran into Jax. And then she went over to Jax's house and where she spent the night. In her wedding death. And then she went to, um, to Windermere yesterday. Yesterday. I keep forgetting, because I usually do the reviews on Saturday, but now I do them on Friday. And she did that today. She went to Windermere to get her stuff, and she finally went off on Valentine. Because I was kind of mad. I was like, you went off on Sasha, but she didn't go off on Valentine because it's obviously that um, Valentine was behind it all. But Sasha claims that it was all her fault. And it was all her. She doesn't believe... Um, Valentine. I don't know why I keep forgetting people's names. <laughs> like talking about them like on and on, but then I forget their name. Really Tori. Anyways after going off Valentine and she got like this little bag, this little ass suitcase of a few things. It looks like not even a week's worth of clothes could fit in there. But she got enough stuff and will send for the rest. <laughs> Yeah, so she's going to have somebody packing up her underwear and bra. <laughs> Hopefully they're clean. Anyways. And so she, talked, she ran into Sasha at um, Crimson. And Sasha was all like, yeah, it was me. I found out that you were looking for your daughter. And so I schemed to whatever. And... Nina doesn't believe her. She thinks that Valentine was working with her or whatever. And it was all Valentine, basically. And my nose itches. <laughs> so annoying. Allergies. Never mind, me. I didn't take my allergy medicine today. But anyways, forget about my health. We're talking about General Hospital here. Yeah, and I think it was um a great performance by the actress that plays um, Charlotte. I forgot her name. I know her name's Scarlet something. I don't know. I was just looking at her name earlier this week, too. Because I saw she was on Twitter. Well, her parents, I'm sure, run her Twitter account. Because she's too young. But, um, she overheard Maxie and Peter talking about how Sasha's Matt and his daughter. And she went off. And then she was going off on Lulu talking about, you ruined the wedding and all the other stuff. And my nose is so itchy. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> and I just thought it was a little great performance because it was like Charlotte had like this perfect little family going on with Valentine and Nina and Lulu ruined it by telling the truth so I think that was good I think there is more going more should go on um with that but you know with your hospital anyway so the truth is out finally that's one secret down, a few more to go. Like, Peter's got some stuff going on, but that's another video. I'm sure we'll get a little more on Peter setting up Sam next week, so I'll probably talk about that next week. As for the reveal, 
Um, I don't know. I think more could have been done. A little more over the top stuff. Because I just feel that Valentine got off a little too easy at the wedding. She just went off on Sasha. Which this obviously screams Valentine. Especially since Valentine hired um, Curtis to find her daughter. So Nina should automatically assume the worst of Valentine and she should have went off on him. I think more should have happened at the wedding versus the day after the wedding, in my opinion. And Valentine still denies it. Um, I guess it's kind of, I don't know. Him still denying it kind of like doesn't, I think that he should have came clean already and said that yes, he did it or whatever because Nina's not going to believe him otherwise and I don't think there's really anything he can say to make her believe that he didn't have anything to do with it because Sasha's not doing a very good job about it either so I'm like he should have just came clean that he did it all for her and so what I'm wondering now is because Nina's mom did say that there was a kid her daughter was still out there somewhere, so why didn't Valentine find the real daughter? And is this even true? I mean, the mom said it, but I forgot the mom's name. So I'm just going to call her the mom. The mom said it was true. I don't know why Valentine didn't just find the real one, I'm sure, with all his money and power and influence. He could have found the real daughter, unless the real daughter doesn't exist. And some people are speculating that her real daughter is Willow. <laughs> Which would be hilarious because she doesn't like Willow. But this is a soap opera after all. And that's something a soap opera would do is give someone a daughter that they don't like. Kind of like with Alexis and Sam um, years ago. Um... Sam didn't like Alexis, and then she found out that that's her mother. <laughs> Good stuff. But I really don't think Nina needs a daughter. I, in fact, I think Nina needs to leave town. I just don't see a reason for the character. I've never really seen the, a reason a reason for the character. I think that, well, Ron, see, he's the one that created the character, I believe. I think he just loves... Um, Michelle Stanford and wanted her on the show, so I created a character for her, and now Michelle, <coughs> over the last few years, um, with the new writers, I don't think they're writing the character to be anything of interest to the town or to the show, and now Michelle Stanford's not there anymore. They have this recast that I don't think is really doing anything for the character. I think Michelle brought some thing to the character that has just been lost since she's been gone. And honestly, I think at this point, Nina should just leave town. She's one of many characters that should just leave town or die and never come back. Ever again. But that's just my opinion. What's your opinion? What do you think about the character of Nina? And what do you think about the storyline and the secret finally being out? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!